Next presenter is Dr. Bindu Tejeshwini. The topic is treatment of outcome of uh, treatment outcome of fungal keratitis attending tertiary eye care center in North Kerala. Good morning, everyone. Uh, study title is Treatment Outcomes of Fungal Corneal Ulcers Attending Tertiary Care Eye Institute of North Coastal Andhra Pradesh. This study has no financial disclosure, and the project has got approval from SRC and IEC. Uh, the reported incidence of corneal ulceration in India is 1,130 per million population, and fungi are the mo common etiological agents which account for 30 to 40 percent of all cases of separative keratitis. Among the fungi, Aspergillus and Fusarium are the common fungal pathogens responsible for this. Uh, ocular morbidity in fungal corneal ulcer tends to be greater than in bacterial keratitis because of delayed diagnosis and available drugs of fungi status. The objectives are to study treatment outcomes of fungal keratitis, to study demographic, microbiological, and morphological features of fungal keratitis, and to study the role of TPK in preventing complication. The sample size is taken as 42. Inclusion criteria are all cases of fungal corneal ulcer attending cornea clinic and diagnosed positive for 10% KOH mom. Exclusion criteria are bacterial and viral keratitis, uh, cases with any other corneal pathology causing visual impairment, fungal keratitis cases already started on treatment outside. This is a hospital-based prospect prospective study uh, conducted during a study period of one year from April 2022 to March 2023 and followed up for three months. The results showed the majority of the cases uh, are among the age group of 41 to 50 years uh, and more common in males. A majority of the patients belong to the agricultural background. Uh, more common in uh, patients with uh, trauma with vegetative matter followed by foreign, foreign body. <laughs> On culture, uh, most found organisms are fusarium followed by aspergillus. 57% uh, cases are managed medically and 43% are managed, needed surgical management. Of all the cases managed with medical treatment, 50% ended with macular scarring, 29% with nebular, and 21% with leukomatous scarring. Uh, over, of all the uh, surgically managed cases, 94% needed TPK and 6% needed patch graft. Uh, the outcome of TPK showed 70% uh, uh, failed grafts and 30% had clear grafts. The final outcome of all the patients, uh, of all the medically managed cases, 11% had leukomatous scarring, 28% macular scarring, 16% uh, with nebular scar. In the TPK cases, 11% had clear, uh, clear grafts and 28% failed graft and 2% cases needed patch grafting. The summary of my study, of all the 42 cases studied, majority were men and from agricultural background. Almost 50% were among the age group of 41 to 50 years. Uh, over 92% patients gave a definite history of trauma, uh, with vegetative matter being the most common offending agent. The causative agent in major majority showed fusarium, aspergillus, followed by calvaria, and found negative in 7.5 case cases. All patients are initially started on medical treatment with antifungal, cycloplegic, and followed for three months. Cases with the risk of impending perforation with medical treatment are managed surgically. The conclusion is, uh, of all the 42 cases, 57% are medically managed and ended in low vision due to scarring, uh, with the 50% 50, 50 cases with macular, 16% nebular, and 11% with leukomatous scarring. 43% uh, cases are surgically managed. Of, TPK, of these, TPK is done for 17 cases and patch graft in one case. Of all the TPK cases, 70% were graft failures and 30% had clear grafts. Thank you.